What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest cyber security news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So welcome to Friday's episode. So if you have not done so already, please go back. Monday, Tuesday, our topics, Wednesday discussion. This Thursday will be a throwback. So an episode from our over 500 episodes uh, in, in our archive. And now today, everything else. So if you're tuning in for cyber, you're not going to get much of that here. Uh, this one is movies, books, games, TV shows, all that good stuff. Uh, it's where we kind of unwind uh for the uh for the week so with that all being said shannon how was your week man it was good it was okay i can't complain too much uh uh this was the second weekend in a row we got a little bit of snow and it doesn't seem like the meteorologist predicted it correctly for what we we're supposed to get it seems right so but more, uh, more or less yeah it's like uh i don't know right unless you live in the desert in california i mean you get it right every time there right you only got to predict the rain once a year or whatever it is but right yeah. So so I saw uh I there's there's this thumbnail, I guess, that's moving around. It's a meteorologist, she's breaking down what that what the, those stats mean. And it blows my mind every time because I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not, but the percentage they give you is for their coverage area. So they say there's a fifty percent chance of snow. It means that fifty percent of their viewers are likely to get snow. I just thought the man was like it's 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 it could happen, could not happen. It's fifty fifty shot. <laughs> That's going to snow. Um, but yeah, they're saying that it's scoped into just their viewership is the percentage. And that blew my mind. I was like, no, nah, I never thought about that. I think they're making it up so they don't seem so like they know what they're doing. <laughs> but it's whatever, right? They go to school for it. They predict it. They, they follow the models. They do all that. I mean, I don't know. I, I You know, weather was one of the things when I went to cross train, weather was one of the jobs that- Yeah, I was going to say, it's at Keesler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like for me- I had it lower on my priority list. Like I, I should have probably changed my list and made it higher because for that one, before I cross trained, I actually had to go to the weather station. I was stationed at Eglin at the time. I actually go had to go there and see what they did. And I was way more interested after doing that. Um, but I was like, man, I I don't know. We'll see. But the job I cross trained into, which I'm glad I got, right? It was, it was yeah. cross trained in computers, uh, was higher up on my priority list because you had to list five in your order of preference. Gotcha. And weather, weather, I think, was my fourth or something. But like I said, I never went back and changed it. And by then, I was probably already in the process of getting selected for, you know, something. Yeah, it was already already yeah. A1C throwing a dart at your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was going to get this yeah. job? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shantines, congratulations. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it was very interesting after I went there and saw what they did and, and, and everything. I was like, man, that's that is kind of cool. But um, I don't know. Maybe I could have I could have been on TV, you know, somewhere. Yeah, it could be weatherman right now. All of this, right. You know, so they don't get paid that well, but you got to love the job to do it, I guess. Right. So, I mean, I, I mean, let me say I say that right. Like for the local stations, not that well. But if I'm Al Roker, nah, but that's different. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, right. But you'll be in the storm. That's the also the. As like to, the local weather persons in the studio, <laughs> yeah. you would be the person on the beach holding your hat or the yeah. umbrella. <laughs> As you can see out here, it's very. <laughs> like, oh man, nah. Like, no, thank you. You get hit <laughs> in the head with a stop sign. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no parts of that. I don't want no parts of that. But yeah, no, it's it. There are ups and downs, right? As with anything, but um, in way of media. Um, I started watching this movie <laughs> Vanguard. So I saw the thumbnail for it. It had Jackie Chan on it. And I was like, man, let me see. I didn't finish watching it. I didn't get a chance to finish watching it. I had to, I had to go somewhere in the middle of it coming up. But uh I was like, man, Jackie still got it. <laughs> I was just saying to myself, I'm like, is he, hey, is he fighting it? Like he's, he's doing stunts fighting and fighting? A little bit. He's really? fighting a little bit, doing stunts. The CGI in it is like crazy. You know what okay. I mean? It's like, all right, that's not that's not a real lion. For sure, you know what I mean. But because but, uh, old Jackie would have a real lion. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> like what are you doing? Like, like what are you doing, dude? <laughs> like, but no, he's getting after it a little bit. Now, mind you, he's not jumping through a through a cashier's cage. You know, like he like right. He, he, oh you know, man, it was that Rumble in the Bronx. Oh. I think it was Rumble in the Bronx, right? Like, so good slot in the cage. Yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he's a uh, he's still doing a little bit, man. I'm like Jackie, you old, but you still getting it up a little bit. But now he's got. Like he's the head of a security company, right? So okay. he's got people that work for him that are like, this is the new, this is the new, the new, uh, uh, what do you call it? The the Jackie 
right his proteges proteges that's all i'm looking <laughs> for yeah you know what i mean like they getting they getting the real work in they out there doing okay. stuff. you know what i mean but didn't finish watching it it's okay right it's very vanguard like if the, yeah if you're the head of a security company you're not going out on calls with them like it's just you're not doing that right like <laughs> you run the company you know what i mean but uh yeah he's, he's getting it in a little bit so uh it's interesting i'll probably finish that this week just to just to say i finished it um watch this other comedy special right i'm into the comedy stuff so last time i said it was beautiful dogs shane gillis beautiful dog <laughs> this one i watched was ralph barbosa cowabunga is the name of it's okay it. yeah and it was it was pretty funny right um uh this guy i'd never heard of him before like, i was just like i don't know what it is but you know on netflix i'll go and like if you just hang over the thumbnail to play a short trailer or whatever like the joke he had in there i was like okay i gotta i gotta watch this you know what i mean but uh so that one was pretty funny too um so did that uh then i started watching this series and it's based off the video game it's onimusha onimusha oh and- yeah, yeah yeah and there's a series it's it's a netflix series they got eight episodes of it i got okay. four of them that thing is off the chain so like really i would i would like to see a little more fighting you know what i mean because it's just like one major fight scene uh have yeah. you ever played, have you played the game like maybe way back like i think maybe on ps3 i may have played it but i've never yeah. beaten the onimusha game but i, I dabbled a long yeah. time ago the series I think started in 2001. Like I had to look it up because I was like, as I saw, like I saw it on Netflix, I saw the trailer and I was like, okay, I'm going to watch that. And I was like, man, this kind of seems familiar. And when I looked it up, they showed us a, a thumbnail of one of the games. I was like, oh, I have seen that before, but I never played it. Right. But okay. Game- so it's, a, so it's an anime. Got you. Okay. Yeah. It's from 2000, 2001, I think was the first game that came out. So the game series is 20 some odd years old, but right. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, Yo, it's off the chain. And again, anime, right? So like you could do whatever you do, but I'm just like, woo. I think I'm in, I'm just in a mood right for it, right? Because I watched Blue Eye Samurai last week. You know what I mean? Right. Did you and finish I, it? You finished all yeah, of Blue? I, I finished all of Blue Eye Samurai. I gotta right? I gotta I gotta pick it back up. I think I'm four or five episodes in. What is it like eight? It's eight. Okay. Yeah. So I, I could probably finish it this week. Eight. Yep. So uh yeah, I finished Blue Eye Samurai. Uh, I like that one. It, it 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 was ups and downs, right? Like, cause it comes, yeah. with, uh, it starts with a bang, you know what I mean? And it's like, ah, okay, down a little bit, and then up, down a little bit. But this one, uh, on Oni Musha, I think I'm saying it right. Yeah. Um, when it starts, like right off the jump, like it's a it's a fight scene, and you're just like, oh, okay, I'm I'm down for this, you know what I mean? And then episodes in, like every episode, it's like a new villain. Like they're trying to get to a, a, a certain villain you know what i mean but along the way just more more and more and more come up and it's just like oh okay i'm down for this man but yeah it's it's a it's a good series i i would suggest it suggest it for sure but i don't know how close it is to the source material like if it's based off a video game i don't know how much of that it keeps to right because i never played it but i like it not having that that background um i actually like it so i i won't complain about that so um yeah took the children to a birthday party yesterday so they enjoyed themselves it's a uh, adventure park is the name of it and it was like it's just got like trampolines a mini arcade little little like uh uh like obstacle course type stuff for them to do they they enjoyed themselves dodgeball pit that also has bat you know the ones you jump off the trampoline and dunk on the basketball rims got yeah. the home rim and whatnot so like stuff like that i was like man i'm tempted i'm tempted to get some of these socks and <laughs> Get out here right. and feel, but I was like, nah, that ain't you, Shannon. You, you, you ain't. This, yeah. this is a young man's game. Yeah, right. You come out there missing the Achilles. Really, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> they already feel a little tight when I be in the gym. I'm like, man, maybe I should leave this treadmill alone for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I already, you know. So I ain't, I ain't out here trying to, trying to go through no surgery that takes a year to heal from. You know what I mean? But the children enjoyed themselves, so that was good. I, you know, I won't complain about that. Like as you, as I'm out and about, I can see, you know. The Christmas shopping season is among us. Oh like, yeah, parking was it was crazy. You know, what I mean, so because mm-hmm. yeah, we went and did some. Even though the children had pizza and whatnot there, like we went and did lunch and ran ran a few errands. So, but yeah, it, everybody is out, boy. So they make it yeah, fun. yeah. It's definitely time of year. I'm definitely staying in. <laughs> <laughs> You just buy it online. You buy everything it's, online. Exactly. It's Why am I going to a real place? Yeah, brick and mortar stores. Huh. Why, why? I, I I go I go there. Those are like museums. I go to Best Buy to look at antiques. 
<laughs> Best Buy soon to be the new Radio Shack, right? <laughs> Man, or uh, what was the other one? Um, Circus City. Circus City. Circus City went under long ago, though, because remember they turned to they were still red. What, would, what did, was the name of the new one when they did that? Because I know H H Gray came about and then they kind of died. But there, there was another one that had a, a red icon. But I, I remember it like so. I was... we had it in Virginia. Yeah, we had we had in Virginia, but I was leaving Alaska when Circuit City started to go under. Yeah. Um, and I I just didn't want to spend a lot of money. You know, things were a little bit tighter uh, back back in those days as an airman. Um, by the time I got to Circuit City, like you know what, I'm gonna go see what they got. They were selling the fire extinguisher off the wall. That's how under they were. Everything must go. What? <laughs> I was like, jeez. <laughs> it was like I came too late. Yeah, I really picked the bones of this <laughs> of this place. Um, but yeah, I, so I, I, we have three Best Buy, no, two Best Buys. We have two Best Buys by us. Well, we have two now. There used to be three. Like one of them is is shut down. Um, but I I walk in there sparingly, right? Because I want to see what well, I'm gonna buy online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I want to see it in person that I can purchase it online. Um, but yeah, but I don't I don't know if Best Buy has much more uh, life left in it to be honest with you every time i walk in there there's they're selling it's it's like walking into a, a GameStop. they're like selling candy and you know what i mean like funko pops and crap like they ain't they ain't they're, they're not long for this world <laughs> unfortunately that used to be my spot i used to always go to uh the the best buy with the magnolia in it so i could see the the premium tvs and sound systems that was cool because they'd have that yeah. set up in there and everything you just go in there yeah that was cool yeah, yeah, I, I, I took my kids because uh, we went somewhere else. I think we went to there was a five and below next to the Best Buy. We went to the five and below with the kids, and I was like, "Hey, let's go to, to uh, Best Buy," and we're walking around there like, like they they were like kind of like confused of like, "What is this? <laughs> like, what is this store's purpose?" <laughs> hey, but you know what, your your daughter should probably still remember a little bit from it though, right? Like for her, like yeah. Yeah, I would say that like her, yeah, her reckon, reckon she can more reconcile, but like the youngest, like Mason's is walking around like, why this is <laughs> like what is this? What are we doing here? Is this where TVs come from? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they just showed up on the doorstep. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like we we live in a totally different world from 20 years ago. It's kind of kind of kind of wild. Um, but yeah, I'm not like I'd say what I say, I'm not going shopping in person. It's not gonna happen. Like two day shipping. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna check out Oni Musha and I gotta finish Blue Eye Samurai. Um, for me, let's see what I get into. I, I, I picked up some stuff and dropped it immediately. Like Monarch, I picked that up. Uh, I gotta push past the story. Like, I just don't care. Oh, Cause they, they're doing a time jumpy thing where they're, they're Kurt, Kurt Russell. Um, I think it's his son. His son is playing him in the older scenes, right? Because they go back to, I want to say, not World War II, Vietnam, maybe? Um, maybe? Well, no, World War II is where it all started. Like, this is where. Is they, it World War II oh, that they're jumping back to? Yeah, but yeah, the, it's the dropping of the bomb that created Godzilla, right? It was when we dropped it in Japan, I thought. Yeah. So it's slightly different. Like, uh, Godzilla emerges like if you in this continuity, Godzilla first emerges off the coast of the US. So now in this TV series, they're showing the Philippines in the past, they're showing Japan modern day. Like so Japan has like a missile defense system set up. Like so they're 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 it's a parody on real life, right? Like if a tragedy happens, you then get countermeasures. So like the lady in modern day who went through the San Francisco attack, she is visiting family in Japan and Japan has a missile defense system they just set up. So as she's driving through, you see the missiles and stuff on bridges and buildings in case a Godzilla type event were to happen in Japan, they're already prepared for it. So the kind of news is a little bit different because yeah, most, most of the time it starts in Japan, right? Like, cause Godzilla is, it's a Japanese thing. Um, but it's, it's funny to show it the perspective it happened in the US first and now the rest of the world's adopting these things to make sure they don't get hit. But then they jump back in time and you're starting to see that there was already some stuff happening in the Philippines and in the Pacific um with these 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 monsters and whatnot. So it's very interesting. I'm just in a very boring part 
Like they just now did a flashback to showing uh, the grandma of the the people in modern day. And then they did the cool thing though, I thought was cool was, cause I didn't know Kurt Russell was in it. So they've been showing his son. His son was the, the um, uh, is it agent from MCU? Like he plays the bad Captain America. Is he called really? agent? He's, That's Kurt Russell's son, though. He's the agent. Yeah. Is it really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you if you in in like it's I didn't pick up on it either, but they show stills. They show them side by side in stills. I'm like, oh yeah, he, he has the Kurt Russell features. I just never I've never peeped it, right? But in the TV show, he's playing his son's playing him in the past. So they, there's that continuity there. I'm like, okay, that, that's pretty cool. Because now the this this that's last episode, so like. yep. like. <laughs> so he's gonna look like that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, now I finally got to the Kurt Russell part, like back in modern day, they're showing Kurt Russell. Uh, so it's going to pick up. I just, I'm very in a very like, I want to, I'm very Shannon mood right now. I want the action right now. <laughs> and, this, and this is how I feel. Like I, I haven't watched any Apple TV because it's Apple TV, right? Yes, Apple TV. When I see their series, like I get that vibe from their trailers. Like I think they are just trying to fool me with all the big names, right? Like I, I, I don't know. Every, like, every project has several big names in it like they yeah. do not play around apple is throwing that money around yes but i think that that's what they're doing to keep to keep from letting you well let me not say to keep from letting you know because people love their series right but for me that's how they're hiding the fact that they're putting out trash right and but it's not bad stuff it's just not they're always going for an award-winning thing is what it feels like like uh Killers of the Flower Moon is one of theirs. Napoleon is one of theirs. Like all that stuff went to theaters first to get a shine. It's all coming to Apple though. Who wants to watch that? I do want to see Napoleon. What? I do. I do. Cause it so that <laughs> here's the thing. I want because I've I've never seen a Napoleon thing that wasn't very uh old timey, right? Like that dude was a beast for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> he had a complex. He just had to keep pushing. He 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 he's he's Icarus. He went. He got too close to the sun. But you want to know something crazy is that Napoleon was not even short for his time. He like, wasn't. Look at yeah. the historical <laughs> facts on this. He was not even short for his time. Like that comes as a thing, like Napoleon complex and all that. Right. But like he was five six or five seven, which at the time that was that was at, regular. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, it was regular. Like, I think it's five nine, right? Right? Because now we've gotten taller. It's weird. Yeah. We're evolving, right? Mi- right? Micro evolution. Yeah. Um. But, but yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't that short. But he did, he did have a complex though. Like this dude just would not stop. <laughs> You're like, yo, chill. <laughs> You're like, nah. Like, cause I, I don't know if it's gonna be in a movie, but I always thought it was fascinating that uh, he tried to kill himself and he overdid it. Like he just couldn't. He just couldn't be regular, right? He, he drank poison, but he was like, I'm Napoleon. I need to drink more poison than the average person, and then that caused him to have a reaction that made him expel it. Right, like, because he if he just drank a little bit of poison, he'd be dead. <laughs> but now I'm Napoleon. I need I need that extra stuff. This is crazy to me. Even even in the trailer for that movie, though, it's a lot of talking and the background and the marriage and all that. I'm like, no, show show me, show him just the war. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> show me the like, war. That's what he did. <laughs> show him conquering, then show him getting exiled. Like, show all of that. Like, uh, that's all I need, right? But like. I don't know. I just don't. I, I, Apple TV just does not do it for me, man. Like I, I like I never got into the what's what's the soccer one, Ted Lasso. Oh yeah, I didn't That's get into Ted Lasso. But it, it's because I'm not in the I'm not in the to, to the footballs. Not it's not it's not, it's not even that. It's a comedy, right? Like that's a comedy thing. But like to me, and, and and again, this might just be me, right? And I know we're different on this, but like when it comes to doing comedies and when it comes to British humor. Not oh, the dry, yeah. So it, it you have to. It's uh, what do they say when, when something is uh, it's an acquired taste? Yeah, it's not palatable <laughs> to you. It's an acquired taste. It's the dry, witty, dark humor. They just um, they think they're funnier than they are, man. Like Ricky Gervais <laughs> is terribly overrated to me. Like people love Ricky Gervais. I'm like he he had a he, he had a time. He's like um for he's still around though. But uh, uh what's his name? on our side uh there's ricky gervais and then there was um oh man comedian he was in a bunch of movies um and then he kind of petered off it was before tosh 0. what was that guy there's a guy that tosh daniel tosh oh, tom, tom green 
Speaking of Tom Green? No, between Tom Green and Daniel Tosh, there was another comedian. Oh, uh, Dana, not Dana. Uh, it is You're... Dana. Uh, oh man, what's his name? He had it's the gonna... movie with Jessica Simpson where he was. Yes, in... yep, yep, yep. Uh, I can't remember his name. Dane, Dane. Dane Cook. Cook. Is it Dane, Dane Cook? Cook? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but that, you, I got you with the periods. <laughs> There was this guy. We got, we got there. We got there. <laughs> he had a time too, right? That was our American Ricky Gervais, I guess. I don't know. But Ricky Gervais is still out there committing comedy atrocities. <laughs> yeah, he, he thinks he's funnier he, than what he is. Like, but you know, but he was know, funny for a time. Like, he's just in so. doses. No. Like, you can't give him a whole special. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Like, I've gone through and watched some of the older stuff, The Office and whatnot. And I'm just like, it just doesn't do it for me. Like, he yeah. is. He is going to be Chevy Chase. Like he's going to be old and he's going to be living off his name. And mm, gotcha. funny but I, I, I love me some Caddyshack though. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> you love that. You love Fletch. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You're like you were a Chevy Chase fan. I'm like, yo, I. Oh, Chevy it. Chase. Like a oh. young Chevy Chase. I thought was pretty funny. Like I, I, I know he had like, there's, there's controversies right that's an l and stuff like that i don't really know much about it but like some people hate chevy chase <laughs> i don't have, but i don't have a problem with that right like comedians are going to make mistakes they are going to overstep their bounds right and i'm willing yeah. to forget you know what i mean but like i i just do not think he was ever that funny I, I i i'm gonna say it look and you may get some calls to get me off the show after i said <laughs> this but like the national lampoon stuff over <gasps> Over uh, oh, if man. I'm fired, if I'm fired, let me know in the air. Let me know. <laughs> I I don't watch it on a regular basis, but uh I as a kid, yeah, I used to I grew up on that stuff. It was I thought it was pretty funny. Like uh it's in the same vein as like Uncle Buck and all that other stuff, right? Like that there was a period of time where that was the the go to holiday movie and then it became the the, the Euro trip and the, the Oktoberfest, like it evolved and then it just died people don't make movies like that anymore just i guess it's just not funny right like everything has to be everything now is more edgy and more i'm trying to think of uh you had your your super bads and your you know those type of movies then or it's what that kind of evolved into uh, and then i don't even know what it is now to be honest i think super bad is funny i think super yeah, it's hilarious mclovin yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. Super bad. But uh, Van Wilders and you mean like there was that period of time where it just kept evolving in in that direction. Now I don't think there there may be some movies like that coming out, but I don't know if, if we'll ever get back there because um, it just people are more sensitive to stuff like that, right? So we'll see. And, here, and here's the thing: I under, I understand that to to a certain extent, right? Like I understand you can't just be mean spirited to be mean spirited, right? Like there's a difference between, and I don't know what it is. It's kind of weird. I don't know what the difference is to where it's something that's that's said to be funny. Like I've I've laughed at some things that are racist that are funny that I'm like, oh man, that 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 hurts a little bit. But it's like, oh, like Boondocks makes me feel like that. If you ever watch Boondocks, I'm like, oh. so so I, I I didn't watch Boondocks at the time because okay, again, it was it's it's weird, right? Comedy is different for everybody. I felt as though they were, they were Boondocks now is hilarious to me but boondocks back then i was kind of sensitive to it i was like i don't want everybody laughing at this <laughs> this should just be for us <laughs> but now like i I've, I've dug back into it. i'm like no this show was was really funny um but i, I also watch I, I i i watched the wrong episodes up front right i watched the mlk episode was the first episode i ever saw and i was just like nah <laughs> I shut this down like we should not be like it's kind of like how Chappelle uh uh in an interview he was saying like he he did a um he did an episode he did a skit and he felt like the wrong laughter was being laughed at right like he had he was he was doing something that was was funny but it was funny for the wrong reason and that kind of turned him off he, he didn't show. like he didn't like the laugh he got from it like the laugh didn't feel like they were laughing with him type thing right like, yeah, I think is what he was saying. And the skit that it was, it was in season three. It was the one with the um, the little uh, characters that were different nationalities, like you know, yeah. you the angel and the devil pop up or whatever. That's the one it was when he was doing it. Because I saw, I saw that too. Where he said that, and he was just like, I didn't feel the same way. And there was, 
there was rumors on who it was that that did that and when they addressed that per addressed it to that person he was like no that was that was not me that was not how that happened because mm -hmm. He's still friends with the person to this day. I don't want to put him out there like that. But the person that that they said it was, was like, no, that is not true. It was not me. And it was someone very close to him. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't know. I, I can laugh at that stuff. Like, I, I'll tell you right now, like, I don't, I've said it. I'm sure I've said it on this show before, but it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Like the very first episode was called The Gang Gets Racist. Like right the very yeah. first episode <laughs> and i'm like wow <laughs> like it, this is crazy but again there's a line right there's a line be between being insensitive and just being mean-spirited and doing it by way of comedy right and i think i think somebody that skirts it really well is bill burr you know what i mean because Bill yeah. burr goes after everybody you know what i mean like yeah. he'll go after black people white people asian people hispanic people but like like he'll he'll take it on the chin too right like his snl monologue same thing like we talked about this right. yeah. from old, old dads he was like hey we need to sit down and take our medicine you know what i mean like it's just what it is like but i don't know i i i am i am willing to forgive some stuff you know what i mean from some people um from most people let me say right like there's some things just like well you've always been like that don't apologize now because it got more attention you know what i mean it's right, not like right. one mistake you know what i mean and it went on from there yeah, yeah. and then i think i mean so in my opinion uh comics should get a pass anyway because it's an art form right like that like a real comic has studied knows what a joke is you can break a joke down in a scientific manner and figure out like how do i make this work for you know uh, as large of an audience as possible like so the the Chappelle uh show that we went to comes out on Netflix in January so it's like um I can't remember something something manifesto um but even he talks about it. I don't know if that that joke will make it into the special but like lazy jokes like so he made some jokes that were lazy he was like good enough like I made a certain amount of people in my radius laugh good enough <laughs> you know what I mean as opposed to like you can scale these things yeah. yeah so like th there's there's an art to it it's I, th I think i think the bad rap is coming from people on social media who think they're funny and they're not comedians right they're just they're just being mean-spirited as opposed to a comic is trying to elicit a certain reaction um from you so i think that's the difference i think people are starting to blur the two together like everybody on social media is not a celebrity everybody on social media should not should not be really taken seriously but everybody's getting a voice on social media and i think that's what's causing uh us to kind of fracture society. Everybody's getting their 15 minutes. Uh, some people were never meant to share their opinion with the masses. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that was supposed to be a conversation you had with your friends. And now it's a conversation you can have with the world. And it's starting to, to blur the lines. Uh, but I don't know how to fix that because social media is only getting more and more ingrained, which leads us to Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so Grand Theft Auto is now what I say 137 million views on their 91 second trailer. I've watched at least seven times myself. I am super excited. This game comes out in 2025. Um, I don't know. I just I gotta get some GTA. I gotta get it now. So let me ask you something. So like I watched the trailer once and I was like, eh, still the same for me. Doesn't doesn't make me right. play it right. Can it do anything to disappoint you? Like at this point. You've only seen 91 seconds of what's coming, right? Yeah. Can it do something to disappoint you? If it leans too far into online, I needed to still remain. This is GTA story. You can run around this world by yourself, do mayhem. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good story. That That's the first time they've had a female lead protagonist like they've always had female characters but it seems like it'll be a bonnie and clyde type story we i'm sure trailer two will be the other guy right there'll be i think they the rumor is his name is jason from from previous leaks uh because they were right about her name lucia so they're like well it seems like the leaks were spot on um i think the second trailer would be him and i think together they will be the the two protagonists for the uh the the game and then the third uh, like the gta 5 had three protagonists i thought it was too many like to be honest with you, the only one I cared about was I only really cared about two was Franklin and Trevor because Trevor was the the, the nutcase he's doing all the crazy stuff, uh, and then uh, Franklin was um, uh, the the character who was kind of pulling himself up out of the uh, 
the, the his his environment. And then you had Michael, which was kind of a mid like crisis cat character. I couldn't really connect with. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was kind of like a Tony Soprano type character, but I I thought it was a a great game. I plan on playing it again actually before six comes out because it's been like eight years. Like, the game came out ten years ago, but it's been like eight years since I played the story. I've forgotten enough where I can enjoy it again. I, I believe. Um, but yeah, I I don't think. Rockstar never disappoints when it comes to tech. They're always pushing the boundaries of tech. Like this game's gonna look amazing. So far, the trailer already shows it shows it and it's been broken down by experts to show that it really was in-game uh footage and what have you. Um obviously they're limited by the power of the PS5 and the uh the Xbox Series X, which are pretty beastly machines. So I'm sure Rockstar's gonna get the, the they're gonna squeeze as much use out of it as possible. Um so I was not disappointed, but the, the reviewers that were looking at the, the footage, they're like pointing out like they call it pixel peeping they were pointing out like just things that were not perfect they're like oh this shadow you know it's not doing this and this is not doing that but overall they're they're like this is going to be an amazing looking game when you put all the pieces together um but it's not going to be perfect because you know there, there's limits and what was the rumored budget you put this out there too so the rumored budget is two billion dollars for a game that's been in development from anywhere between five and ten years because you gotta think red dead came out five years ago so they probably jumped from gta 5 to red dead redemption 2 to now this um but it like i'm sure there was some posts you know what i mean like okay we're coming off of five we need to start storyboarding and stuff like that so all together they're saying two billion but gta 5 itself made so far eight billion dollars so i mean that's not comparatively that, that ain't bad no, it's not. I think you anticipate doing better, right? Like the, the hype over it, right? Like it, it and here's why I say this, right? So like <laughs> from a from a music standpoint, right? I'm a big D'Angelo fan, right? When he came out with Voodoo, I was like, yo, this is hot, right? And then for years he's supposed to come out with another album. Supposed to come out with another yeah. album. Supposed to come out with another album. When I heard Black Messiah, I think was the last one, I was disappointed. I was like, this is not what I was waiting for. Mm -hmm. Gotta be honest with you, right? So it's like one of those things where I'm like, I don't want you to be like, yo, because like one of the songs had leaked years ago. Like I had a version that I downloaded to my, this is how long ago this was, to my iPod. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Um, It had, um, so like it was a production version that had, uh, what's his name? Uh, Drummer from The Roots. Oh, uh, Questlove? Questlove, yeah. Questlove was doing like while the song was playing he had an overlay every so often that was like this is a quest love exclusive like i, I remember this i was like yo gotcha. when this drops it's gonna be off the chain you know what i mean i was like it's gonna be off the chain i was disappointed you know what i mean but i waited gotcha. so long and that, that, that's that's my fear for you not a fear for me because i'm not gonna get it but for you you're gonna be like oh this is yeah, I, don't, I don't think so like so i i don't like i don't think it's I don't think I'm going to give them a pass if they make a bad product, but they they make pristine products. I've not been disappointed in GTA ever. Like I didn't play the first one because I think the first one came out like on PC or something like that. But GTA two was top down. It was an enjoyable experience. But from three on, from what is that? 20, 2003, I want to say, or is it 2001? 2001 is yeah, when really three came out. Yeah. yeah. So since the age of, uh, uh, I want to say I was like 16 or 17 when three dropped till now I'm 40. They, they have never released something where I was just like, man, this is just okay. They've always released something that's pushed the boundaries in both graphics and storytelling. Um, so I th- I think like just off the tone alone, like the Bonnie and Clyde thing, I think they're going to, they're going to kill it. They're going to knock it out the park. Okay. And to be a GTA game, like, like basically they, like, there's no end to source material. Like you already saw in the 91 second trailer, that's Florida. They they <laughs> they're taking all these Florida events and they're just like, let's 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 digitize them and make them have our you know the, the rock star um, uh, vibe to it. And then Vice City is my favorite GTA. So so I I I saw this article. I didn't uh, I didn't watch the trailer again to verify. But there's a guy. Apparently there's a guy in Florida. Who, yeah. Like a real life Joker. Yeah, right. Florida Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently, he's referenced in the trailer, and he's trying to sue them now. Like he's trying to get at them. Like, hey, using my likeness to set in the third. Yeah, I, I don't. I I think they get away with parody. Like they they, GTA's all like, 
use images and, and iconic uh, events and people and that they haven't, they haven't lost yet. Plus, I mean, they got billions of dollars. So I don't think Florida Joker is going to win this case <laughs> off one product. You got to think like they, uh, Rockstar also made Red Dead, which I think sold 53 million copies, but GTA 5 is like 180 million copies sold or something like that. Like the, it's the highest grossing media product of all time. And they, it took them like, that's why, that's why I say they have unlimited resources. They have unlimited time. They're not going to drop something. I believe they're not going to drop something until they have a pristine product, right? They didn't have to rush it. Like they could, they could legitimately just keep selling five for uh, another four or five years, probably before it tapers off. Are people going to do that knowing that six is coming? You've already released a trailer, right? So like people are like, I know you have something else coming. I'm not going to give you more for the old stuff. Outside of you, maybe I don't know. You're right? No, I, I would. I would not be surprised if they they saw a surge. Like I know their their stock dipped because of the date. So because people thought that it was going to be like, and it's going to be released next year. Like, nah, it's still two years out. So they, they took like a seven percent dip, which will shoot right back up. Seven? Um, you said? I think they took a seven percent dip. That's pretty substantial. Yeah, but I I'm sure that they'll, it'll pop right back up. Um, just because like every month I, I think it just now dropped out of the top 10 but like every month for almost nine nine ten years straight they were the number one they were in the top 10 selling games like and they they get they get they get the benefit now uh which is kind of shady but not really if you can do it right they get the double and triple dip so they got me three times they dropped on the ps3 i bought it initially and then a year later or so the ps4 was dropped and then it looked more amazing so i was like okay i gotta upgrade and then uh the ps5 i think i i don't think i bought it for ps5 i think i bought it for the uh, series x but i had to, i had to have it on the modern console i don't have i can't go back and play it on the old dusty console i gotta play it on this current console so they, they're always going to have that 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 double dip effect because they drop it on the consoles first so it's going to drop on ps5 and the series x and then inevitably a year or so later it's going to drop on the pc i'm well, not a pc player per se but people are going to buy it they're going to buy it on the console first and they're going to jump and then for me it'll probably be it because that'll be 2005 the new consoles will probably drop like 2007 8 i mean 2027 2028 yeah. um and then there'll be upgrade i'm gonna have to have it they're gonna give me on a double dip at this rate, I don't know how old we're going to be when 7 comes out. So <laughs> it took 10 years to make this one. Like, is, is next one's going to take 10, another 10 years, another 15 years? And we're going to be almost 60 <clears throat> when GTA 7 drops? I'm still going to buy it. <laughs> I, I don't know. At that point, you may be like, all right, I, I'm past this now. <laughs> right? Play, like, playing it with my grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> But that, that pretty much wraps it up for me. Like, yeah, Blue Rise Samurai, Monarch, um, that Kevin Hart joint is gonna drop with uh Chris Rock that drops on the twelfth. So I'm excited for that one. I think it's like headliners only is what it's called. They drop something. a trailer for it. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Jack Jack Reacher drops this week too. The series. I gotta watch it. Like what you is this? You is this, the first one? Mm -mm. Is it season mm. is it season two or three? Season two. Season two, okay. So I don't have that much material to catch up on. Nope, I haven't watched it. I need to, and that's a, a Prime thing, right? Yeah, that one's Prime. Okay, I need to jump on that. Invincible should be coming back sometime next year, early next year, hopefully. Um, I hope it's January. I hope it's just like a holiday break, man. Like, I man, look, you you got good now. Like, don't be right. singing like this. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Some what else did I watch? I don't know. I gotta I gotta catch up on the Christmas stuff though. Like I gotta watch. It's 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 gotta be uh, Home Alone has to get watched with uh, the wife and kids. Elf has to get watched. Uh, of course, Die Hard one has to get watched. That's a Christmas classic. Um, and then uh, that same nightmare, nightmare uh, before Christmas that has to get watched. Uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, both the the original animated joint and the Jim Carrey joint that has to get watched. Um. He's all staples. Christmas story? I I do what? if it's on, but I don't watch TV anymore, right? Because it used to be that and uh so he used to watch Christmas story, uh um Miracle on oh man, what is it? Miracle on 34th Street or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. That would always pop on. And then obviously uh uh the one with Scrooge. 
was that one? Uh, oh, Christmas, one Carol? About? Christmas Carol was the original. Are you talking about yeah. Scrooge? <laughs> no, I, I don't. Th I, I think I may have watched that like once or twice, but those used to always get watched. But those, that's because they'd be on TV on on repeat. So now I have to go out of my way to kind of get to them. They might not get watched this this year. Uh, Old timey stuff might not get might not get a playthrough. Um, because that it just unless it pops up on Tubi or something. Like I, I was gonna send you. A, um, I don't I don't watch TV in the office, but the the office TV has is, you know some somewhat smart, so it'll pop up like ads. And they had Friday playing on Tubi. <laughs> it's like. I've never watched the two B anything, but I was like Friday. It, it's everywhere. Yeah, but that's the third Friday, and that's a, not a good one. No, <laughs> this was original. This was oh, the original? original. Yeah, the original oh, was playing. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I think the third one is the Christmas one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah third okay. one would be the Christmas gotcha. one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I was like two B. <laughs> Friday is everywhere. It's a staple. Isn't that one free? Two B's free, right? I think two B is free. Yeah. Or Pluto TV, one of those. Yeah, it's like free. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because you got ads everywhere and you don't get good movies. You know what I mean? Like, of course it could be free. Right, right. Um, but aside from that, I'm gonna start studying. So I, I do need to pick up the the books because I, I got I have to renew my CCNA in January, and I have to renew my CEH before it, it officially expires because it's lapsed. So I got I got to do something that hopefully will kill two birds with one stone. I don't. See how those two are going to be related, though. So I got to find something, the the bridge that gap. Um, that's the, they got to warn people, man. Like, like everybody wants certs, got to maintain them. Uh, my wife feels like doing that. <laughs> like, just give me credit for the work. Like, I'm doing the work. All right, I don't want to read nothing right now. I want to take a break. But now this, this would be the perfect time to jump into the, during the holidays, right when things start to slow down, uh, before things pick back up and like late January, early February, try to knock out a, a, a cert or something, or at least renew renew some certs. So that'll be the uh, the plan. And I think the color purple drops on Christmas. So the, they remade the color purple with a ensemble cast. Uh, that's my, my wife's favorite movie. So we'll probably go see that. That's Taraji Henson's in it, right? Yeah, Taraji P. Henson's mm -hmm. in it. Um, I always forget her name, uh, Chloe Bailey. I, yeah, I don't. I don't remember. I think that's right. Yeah, I think it's Chloe Bailey. Um, uh, oh man, it's a bunch of other people in it, but it's, it's going to be off the chain. So, Color Purple is iconic. Like that, that movie. Now you say stands. Gonna, you say it's going to be off the chain, but it's like one of those things where, like, having seen the original, especially if it's her favorite movie, she's going to be like, "Man, this just did not live up to it." Right? Potentially, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? hopefully, hopefully, they they respect the you know the material, but then they they hopefully do something um to modernize it because I, I mean it's still good right now like don't get me wrong i'll watch color purple uh, with my wife whenever whenever it comes on but um I, I can see them making this uh complimentary right like you still watch the original or you can watch this one kind of like you're saying with scrooge or whatever some people might like that not me though <laughs> that's 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 the hope is that they do it justice right so yeah i, I think i well, I, I hope I, I can't say i think they will because i've seen ensemble cast like there's a movie called kingdom come had everybody named mom in it it was not a good movie so sometimes you have too many stars in the movie it was like Whoopi and a few other uh actors um but the movie just didn't hit i didn't like it okay was it a remake or was it uh no i don't think it was a remake i think it was okay. original um, but sometimes you can have you can be you can you can overdo it with uh because everybody has to get the limelight right. Um, See, that's that's how I that's how I feel about those Apple things, man. I'm like you just throwing these stars in here. Like, they do throw a lot of stars. stars, and then just watch it because of that. And I'm like, eh, give me some something good. Yeah, you yeah, will see. And there's a disaster flick on Netflix. I gotta catch. Um, we, we've been talking about it for weeks. It finally finally hit on Friday, so I'm gonna probably watch that. Uh, either today or uh, early next week, so I can I can tell you how it it missed the mark <laughs> next week or not. Like, this is the new Bird Box. <laughs> it's, it's it's Netflix, so it missed the mark. I assure you. Just off the off the rip. It is, it <laughs> it's is. full of it's full of big names too. So there you go. Let's see, was well, disaster flick. Those are always great. If you say so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I think it pretty much wraps up this episode. Definitely continue to tune in throughout the week, right? So Monday, Tuesday, our episode. Monday, Tuesday, our topics. Wednesday is our discussion. Thursdays uh, this week will be a throwback of our over 500 episodes. Or uh, in the future, it might be Ask Assist P, where I get to sit down and interview somebody who is either in tech, uh, who's uh, trying to break into tech, or is on their journey um, in cybersecurity. And then Friday's everything else. So you get a lot of this movies, books, games, all that good stuff. So hit up all the websites that go by our name. You can me up personally. I'm at Ry Ry Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. You can find me on uh, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and Threads. Stay safe, stay secure. <laughs>